I had some great news for PS2 on Raspberry Pi 5. Aether SX2 is now compatible with Raspberry Pi OS with a small fix to config text from Tiagalapa 3662. Let's show how well it performs. So this is KDE Plasma, which is my build on Raspberry Pi OS. And if we pick Grand Theft Auto, so full screen, and let's play around with the settings. So currently we're running at native PS2 resolution, but we can up that to two times. And it still works. And have a look at the resolution on the screen. So 1280 by 1024. Now, it is a little bit choppy, but I'm actually really surprised to get this running at this resolution and running reasonably well. But what we can do is a bit of a compromise and we can go in between. So let's change that resolution to one and a half times because I'm only running my desktop resolution at 720. And you'll see, so 960 by 768 and perfectly playable. And if we hip, hop out of the car and have a look around, you can see that uh, it's working pretty well considering we've really upped that resolution. So beyond native PS2. This could be really good news for Recallbox and Batacera and RetroPie builds because it's working off Raspberry Pi OS, which is always the latest kernel, always the latest update available on Raspberry Pi. So we should find the best performance. Right, let's show you how to do it. So with Raspberry Pi Imager, I'm gonna write a fresh copy of Raspberry Pi OS to an SD card, 64-bit. And it's this one. And we'll boot that up when it's all done. So it's just installing all the latest updates. Okay, so let's open the terminal. sudo nano forward slash boot forward slash config dot text. And we're gonna add some lines into here. So let's just type in Aether SX2 fix so we know what it is. The hash means that it doesn't do anything, so it ignores that line, but it's good to sort of keep track on what you've changed. So kernel equals kernel eight dot image or IMG. And I'm also gonna overclock as well. So arm underscore frequency equals 3000. You don't need to overclock for this, but it definitely helps if you're up in that resolution. GPU underscore frequency equals 1000. Now I'm not gonna enable this, but if you wanna enable it, you can just get rid of the hash and it will turn white and it will work. Force underscore turbo equals one. So let's save that with control X and then press Y and enter. We also need to do sudo raspi dash config. And I think it's under advanced. Yeah, Wayland. So we wanna to switch to X11 as the window manager because the Aether SX2 emulator doesn't work with Wayland. So X11. If we hit finish, we can now reboot. So now I wanna change the desktop resolution, uh, which is under preferences and screen configuration. You can drop down lower than 720, but I think 720 is fine. And it also means the operating system looks quite reasonable still. So let's hit okay to save that. Now we need to open a terminal and install Fuse. And Close that down. Now in the web browser, let's type in ether sx2 linux arm. And I think it's this one. There's a few that come up. No, it's not that one. I think it's that one, desktop. Yeah. So scroll down and download that one. And the instructions are actually in here. They're pretty straightforward. So what I usually do is move the location of it. So downloads, let's copy that or let's cut that. And we'll have uh, in the home directory, we'll have a new folder and we'll call it PS2. And just paste that in. And now we do tools and open current folder in terminal. And then we need those instructions. I haven't got any window snapping on here. Never mind. 
So the way I usually do it is to copy the name of this. So if you go to rename and then hit control A and right click it, you can copy it. And we can minimize that for now and then pop that in here. But at the start of it, you want to type in chmod plus x space and then what you've just copied and pasted. And that's done it. And go to the beginning and put dot forward slash. And we have PS2. So what you're going to need to do is add in a BIOS, which I can't tell you where to get the BIOS. I've got mine on a USB stick. So if I browse to that, so Lee PSP video, no computer, files, media, Lee PSP video, and my USB stick. And then I've got it in a folder called PlayStation 2 BIOS. So if I choose that, you can see that it's found that BIOS. I need my game list, so let's hit plus on that. I've also got that on the USB stick. Uh, and in fact, it's already almost there. So if I go to that, and then RetroPie mount. You can have them locally on the machine, but because I use it so often, I've always got a USB stick plugged into my hub that I can access it from. So I've got a PS2 folder here somewhere. And hit choose. And yes. And you can see my game start to show up. And if we close down this, uh, the only other thing you need to do is set up a controller. So I've got an Xbox 360 controller plugged in. So controller port one, and then just go through and configure everything. So D-pad up, left, right, and so on. So left three is this one, and right three is this one. So it depends if you've got that, but I have on this controller. Just doing the right analog stick. Okay, that's all done. I need to move this to be able to see it, so we can hit close. And now if I was to launch Dave Mira Freestyle BMX, okay, you can see OpenGL is not found, so we need to select Vulkan. So go to Graphics, Renderer, Automatic, so we can say Vulkan. Let's try again. Oh, still not working. So let's pick Software. Okay, so I'm surprised it's coming up with that because my KDE Plasma didn't, but we might need PyKiss for this. Let's just try the last option. What was the last option? Null. Okay, so that's not working, but what we need to do now is install PyKiss because we want to update the drivers. So let's close everything down uh, apart from the web browser and let's go, let's type in PyKiss and find the GitHub. This is a brilliant installer and actually Jose has been updating these recently. There are some, uh, in the change log, there's various different things about Raspberry Pi 5, which is really good to see, including these Vulkan drivers. So scroll down until you get the install script, which is here. Open a terminal, control alt T and paste that in and that'll just do it on its own. Doesn't take very long. So now if I have a look in here, we should see that PyKiss is installed. Although it, if it isn't, it might need a reboot. So if I go to the folders and there's a PyKiss folder and just click on the executable and execute in terminal. And here we are. So now we can go into configure Vulkan and yes. And on my other build, I was using the latest, which it says could be unstable, but it wasn't. It was absolutely fine. So main, latest, not stable at all. So let's hit OK. And it will take a while. Let it do its thing. And it will tell you when it's all finished. OK, that's all done. Let's hit Enter and exit to the shell. And I'm going to reboot now. OK, so let's go to the folder, PS2, and launch the emulator and under settings and graphics we want to check that Vulkan is definitely picked so let's launch uh, Spider-Man ok 
Okay, so at the moment it's coping pretty well. Not struggling with that. Let's hit escape and change the settings. So let's try and go for a better resolution. So graphics and resolution. Well, let's go for 1.5 times and see where that gets us. Oh, that slowed it down a bit. You can see 9... 960 by 672 but we've also got that hardware option to try which is under graphics and if we scroll down hardware download mode so let's go for unsynchronized and see if that makes a difference sometimes it does oh no it's definitely still struggling okay so that doesn't work uh, although we haven't tried to change the uh, renderer let's try software F9 although usually yeah, that's even worse. So let's close this game and try something else. Pro Evolution Soccer, see if we can get the resolution up on that. So I'll start it at 1.5 times. So 768 times 768, so that's going to be as high as my 720 desktop would allow anyway. Yeah, definitely looks really nice for a PS2 game. Yeah, that definitely feels absolutely fine. Nothing wrong with that at all. Oh, this is nice. Come on. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> I'm used to FIFA. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.